you, LeBron. Uh, I guess first things first, just how's the elbow feeling? How are you feeling overall from a health standpoint? Um, I'm feeling better. Um, I'm getting, you know, to 100%. So I said, I'm, I'm doing better. I'm getting 100%. I'm just overall, you know, body type. I just, I feel uh, like myself. So. Okay. Uh, Michael Casagrande, go ahead. Yeah, on the defensive line, just how uh, how solid does it feel at this point uh, with having so many guys coming back and uh, the continuity involved with that defensive line? Um, having some of the people come back, um, I think, is a, a big uh, positive. Um, we've, you know, had a even last year had a chance to you know grow as a whole and get better and um, you know trust one another. I think that's one of the things, especially with D line, you gotta trust the, the man beside you that he's gonna do his job. And do us, you know, at his best. So, you know, we just challenge each other every day out there on the field. So, okay, we'll go back to Charlie. Just how do you think the defensive line performed in that first scrimmage? And what do you want to take from that performance and kind of build on in this second scrimmage? Um, it had its um, positives and then it has its things that we definitely got to improve on um, technique. Um, you know, that's really, I think, the biggest thing that we need to work on as a whole. So run or pass. I think technique, that's going to um, take us to the next level. So. Thank you. We'll go to Mike Rodak with AL.com. You had the chance uh, to go into the draft after last season, LeBron. Just what was the reason to, to come back to school for you? And uh, what are you looking to accomplish uh, with this season? Um just uh improving my game um you know just having another year where i can you know prove to myself prove it to my teammates um that i can play at a you know high level that's really and maintain that's um also i just have a lot of you know personal goals as well that you know i definitely want to accomplish that's one of the things that i definitely am here to do Go to Tony Sakalas. Hey, LeBron. Obviously, there's been some frustration just obviously with, with getting hurt, but how much do you learn from being on the sidelines, maybe getting to see the game in a different way um, during those times when you're battling injury? Um, I think I learned a lot. Um, it's something, I mean, every player, you know, they ask, you know, they have their injuries. So, um, you know, just in that, you know, time frame, um, I think, you kind of take that role of being like an extra eye, some extra eyes, like an extra coach out there. So, you know, it's, you know, things that you might see that the people on the field, you know, don't. So you, uh, you bring it up to them so that, you know, it helps the D line, it helps the team itself. So really just um, making the most out of it, really. Okay. And it looks like we'll wrap up with Charlie Potter. Charlie, go ahead. At LeBron, I know you were uh, a leader last year, uh, but with so many guys moving on, especially all four captains from last year's team, just how important is that for you to step up, especially for the guys on the defense with, with those guys on offense leading? Uh, it's, it's definitely important for me. Um, you know, I, I definitely uh, took my time and, you know, had to deal with a lot of things. Um, I think it's just now it's that time to, you know, take it to the next level and, you know, be a leader that I should be.